Hey, it's Laptop Geek HD, and today I'm going over the Acer Predator 15 G9 591 70XR. I left a link in the description below to get a great deal on this model, and you can also read all the user reviews and see what other people are experiencing with it. So I'm going to get right into the performance of this gaming laptop. It's running the Intel Core i7 6700HQ processor. This is one of Intel's latest mobile Core i7s. It's running the 6th generation Skylake architecture. And it's a very powerful processor. It has turbo boost up to 3.5 GHz with a base clock speed of 2.6 GHz. So this means it could dynamically increase or decrease depending on what you're doing. So performance is just not an issue with this processor. It can handle extremely demanding software just fine. And it's also awesome for multitasking. Another huge contributor to the multitasking capabilities is a 16 GB of DDR4 dual channel memory. So you can handle very, very heavy multitasking. And obviously the benefit of having 16 gigabytes of memory is you can just run a ton of programs without sacrificing performance. So this model is running on the GTX 980M graphics card. So gaming is no problem with this GPU. It's a high-end graphics card. It can handle modern games smoothly on the highest settings. So I'm gonna go over a few benchmarks so you can get a good idea of what you can expect for gaming performance. Rainbow Six Siege got about 80.3 frames per second on ultra settings with a 1080p resolution. Just Cause 3, 59.7 frames per second on ultra. Star Wars Battlefront, 89 frames per second on high, 75 frames per second on ultra settings. And Assassin's Creed Syndicate, 58 frames per second on high settings. Fallout 4, 70 frames per second on high settings, 57 on ultra. Black Ops 3, 66 frames per second on ultra. So that should just give you a good ballpark idea of what you can expect for gaming performance. As you can see, it's running all of these modern games smoothly on the highest settings with a 1080p resolution. So one of my favorite things about this laptop is it has two hard drives. It has a one terabyte 7200 RPM hard drive so you have plenty of space to store all of your games and other data. And it also has that 256 gigabyte solid state portion so you get to reap all of the benefits of a solid state drive quick boot up times and just the overall performance of Windows 10 is very very snappy. So this model has a 15.6 inch IPS display and IPS displays are awesome for gaming just because you have much more accurate colors and you also have those wide viewing angles as well. This model has a 1920 by 1080 resolution so it has high pixel density and the good thing about this high resolution screen is you can just fit more on the screen at the same time. So one small window isn't going to take up a lot of real estate and not to mention your games running on this resolution will just look much sharper and clear. There's also a backlit keyboard, 6 hour battery life which will obviously depend on what you're doing. And Bluetooth support, DVD drive, Windows 10, it has a HD webcam, and this model weighs 7.5 pounds, so it's slightly on the heavier end, but it's definitely expected for a 15.6 inch gaming laptop. There's an HDMI port, mini display port, a Thunderbolt 3 port, has four USB 3 ports, and an RJ45 Ethernet port. So to conclude, if you're looking for a powerful gaming laptop, this Acer Predator will not disappoint. It has the performance you need to run games on the highest settings smoothly. Be sure to check out the link in the description to get a great deal on this model. You can read all the user reviews and see what other people are saying about it. I hope you found this quick overview helpful.